Hello comrades, it's Premier River here, looking down once again to the city of Rivergrad. And haven't really paid any attention to it, and there's really not much time has passed since the last episode. We are definitely rolling in the money. Money is not our issue any longer, is it? Some of that I think is because we're exporting so many uh, mechanical components. Let's see, what do we got? Western countries. Let's import. Let's see, what's our exports? 270. No, nah, well, 117,000. That's definitely given us a good bump. That's just this month, which is only a little over halfway done. So if we go to last month, yeah, 292,000 mechanical components. We're still sending out a bunch of power. Bitumen is really uh, <laughs> quite the lucrative little thing there. And now we're, we're getting some crops out too, so that's not hurting. And how about if we look at the Western countries? Yeah, look at that. 300,000 mechanical components, some crops, some bricks. Yeah, so it's uh, the mechanical components are definitely adding up. Now, I think they're causing a bit of a steel issue. I almost want to slow down how fast we're exporting them just because it seems like it's sucking up a good amount of our steel where we're not really producing that much extra. So we'll see. Maybe we speed up how fast we take the steel away, right? Like by putting a train here or something. So we'll see. I'm not sure what it'll prioritize. It seems to prioritize certain vehicles. Like when you have multiple vehicles parked in a place like this, and, and I'm not sure what the basis is. Like, you know, if this one's getting, see this one filled up to seven tons but then it's not filling up anymore it seems like every time this vehicle comes back it'll always prioritize it so i guess we can find out whether it prioritizes a train or or the trucks first or or what so, so we'll see so in any event uh like i said not much time has passed i did come down here and start leveling out some stuff and I have an idea in mind. I, I really didn't actually place any buildings. I hovered them over the places so we can work out together exactly exactly what needs to go where and, and why. But I'd like to get everything, almost like we're starting a whole new town, which we kind of will be, and get all this construction stuff figured out first. It's going to be a lot of work just to to get this built, especially, you know, without much of a... You know, we're going to have to go all the way back there to get any materials over. But if we keep building the railroads, hopefully we can get, we'll, maybe we'll prioritize getting certain materials over here as quickly as possible. And each one we get will mean that many trips less back. So what I've done is, okay, let's, well, let's do one other thing real quick, real first. This tunnel is just about done. And once it is done, yeah, so we have like 162 people in here and only 130 or only 300 days. Yeah, look, now we're, so this, this tunnel went way quicker. Now these two tunnels are progressing. Let's just put it at that. They're, they're uh, not blazing saddles at that point, are they? But anyway, we, we got people in there, they're working. Things, things are moving forward, but the, I think we're going to be a little while for the rail. So we, we may kind of put this a bit on hold after we, you know, after we make another plan. But I do want to put a construction out here. Now, another thing I want to do, I thought about it, is I want to get rid of this medium voltage power wire for now. Um, so let's just yeah, demolish that. We haven't put anything into it yet. And while we can still see it. Let's demolish that substation. And the reason is, is I don't know that I would, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to actually, we're going to build a construction thing here, but that construction thing will be mostly about leveling. So let's just come here for now and we'll put in an asphalt road off of there. All right, and then I'll probably put, let me think another one just going this way. And then let's go over to construction offices and just plop a, that would worked out pretty well. Getting used to the size of things, right? I don't see it's connecting, but here, let's spin around. Why is that not? Yeah, well, probably because it's, 
right there, there. Here we go. Now it's connecting. There. So when that when they get done this, we'll have them start working on the, which is very very shortly here. And then we we'll have some extra. There we go. It's done. All right. Let me pause for a minute and figure out what we're gonna do or think about what we're gonna do. Probably don't need to pause, but definitely I think we're just gonna put. Well, does this guy have? Let's take a look. No, this guy doesn't have any paving equipment, but I think there's like paving equipment right here, isn't there? Yeah, let's get him some paving equipment because it's it's getting awful far for the Kamin guys to to do their things. And I think maybe we should now's the time to start thinking about moving them up to the other area. So, uh, yeah, the crane would be useful. We've got an extra bus here. Let's take this little tiny bus out of here. And I did the extra bus just to get people going. And then we probably want to want dumpers. We're not going to need many open halls, but we do want one. We probably want a covered. You know what? Let's get rid of the, not get rid of, but move this this guy out of here. You know, let's keep the game playing. There's no reason not to. All right, so let's move this guy back as soon as somebody gets out of there. And then let's close some windows. And then we'll move this guy. Yep, I just see two spaces. All right, now what do you have? These guys, okay, at one point, I'm not sure if I told you, but I jammed up the whole thing because people were coming here to get, yeah, say, like, if I have too many trucks driving back and forth, this road's not long enough, and then they start backing up. But these two guys have gravel. Now, concrete dumper. Yeah, this is the big dumper. It's good to have. Little dummy. I've got three dumpers. I think we're going to be fine with this setup. It's good enough. I want it to be like a to be able to do the construction as well as build these roads. And I'm not in a real big hurry for that either. So, all right, so let's leave that selected and come back over here and select this first road. Good. All right, so eventually they should head out and start, you know, getting that paved and all that stuff. And just so you know, I mean, the, the main other thing that we're working on we're working on our power lines, but also this tunnel, of course. And this one's not going quite as quickly, but it's also not as close to the town. And I only have the one construction office on it at this moment because these guys are helping us build. Yeah, does this guy still have a job? Nope. Okay, good. So that means he's done more of these electrical things. So let's assign him more electrical things. Yeah, you're going to do that good. So that way we, oh, wait, okay. We don't have, there you go. All right, so that'll give him plenty to do for a little while. And then the uh, Farminsky, Farminska, they're working on this. So this this will take them a while. So our planning here is definitely getting ahead. I Like I said, I came right back pretty much after the episode. But I wanted to lay out more of this stuff. I'll spend some time between the episodes like I had said, getting the road done, but kind of wanted to be there with you guys when we finished this tunnel down here and showed you. If this tunnel hadn't been completed, I probably would have worked on that road more, but, but good. I'm excited. We built our first tunnel ever. <laughs> now we just have plenty of more work to do to get pushed over into this area. So let's do some laying out. Here's what I'm thinking. I guess we could start over here and... If we come to here and come to storages, what I'm thinking of doing is leaving enough room between here. Here, let's turn on the wireframe. So if you look, I've leveled out an area here, and maybe I can plop this down right away. So what I'm picturing, I'm going back and forth, is like a train track or two coming in here, right? And then over here, we'll have an aggregate unloading. So let's go to over to rail. There we go. Aggregate unloading, right? And 
one way or the other, we get this aggregate unloading. I want to leave it back over this way plenty. Boom. All right, so now, like I said, one way or the other, we're going to train into here. So I've kind of left that far back so we have plenty of room to turn this train in there. So we, cause this is going to get to be a bit of a mess in here as far as you'll see. All right, so now let's go back to the storages and I want to do medium, the bigger storages so that we can bring trains right in here. And what I'm thinking of is all of the roads will point out this way so that the trucks can come into these from this direction, like a road would somehow, hopefully it'll work out with the, where we do the, the, the railroad tracks, but like starting at about here, we would put four of these things and then I'll bring, here, I'll show you in a minute. Let's put these four down. Let's level this out. I think I want to level, level out this way a little bit extra. Not that we can't do it later. There we go. So now we'll try to keep that guy right in line. How's that look? Let's come back down this way a little bit. There we go. And then another one like here. Let me just level out this way a tiny bit more. There's that. Yeah, pretty close. And then like another one here. Now, yeah, let's level out this way just a bit. Probably even want to level out this way a little bit too. Probably should have done that with the others. We'll make it work one way or the other. All right, let's put it. Just so you know, what I'm trying to do is I can't really see through the trees, but those, the icons for the ends of the roads or the connectors, see how they, you know, I'm trying to hold that in the same place here, and I, I hopefully that'll get them, you know, close enough to line up that it looks, that it looks like somebody who cared build it. Yeah, they're, you know, well, I mean, if you're that, if you're that meticulous, you're not me. <laughs> so, here's what I'm thinking next. So now let's go over to the railroad tracks. And what I'm thinking of is, it's like a double track in and out of here, right? Kind of right in the middle. But then I also, you know, we need to get one here. So what I'm thinking of is, is that every other one of these will bring a track up here as well, right? So we'll, we'll come out of like, say this one and come here and then we'll skip one. And then, so that'll give us plenty of room for signaling and all that other stuff. It doesn't matter which way the trains come in and out other than, you know, we're going to have our road here, which means we probably should leave a little extra room on this side. We will have a road into this, but it's not really that necessary. So before I build all of this, let's just make sure we can work out one last thing or one more, some more things. Let's say it that way. I want a large aggregate storage that's somehow connected to this, right? And I'm pretty sure, let's make it square to the grid. Not that I, not that I care that much that it's square to the grid. There we go. And I think if we put this back this way, and then probably maybe even over this way a little bit, hopefully, let's do one thing before I pop this down. Hopefully that doesn't mess us up too much. Yeah, and I think definitely the extra, extra capacity of a large storage, something like that. Now, can we get a conveyor connected? Let's make sure that can happen before, before anything else. Yes. Okay, good. All right. The reason that's good is one of the things I want to do is put, let's see, we didn't really stretch our road out here. Um, you know what? I'm feeling like pausing. Let's, let me pause while I do this. Yeah, let's delete that back just so we can get a nice clean road. The whole, well, it won't matter. Well, there we go. See, I think that'll work out. It's going back uphill, which isn't ideal, but whatever. I don't think it makes that much difference. The trucks will go a bit slower, I guess. But then what I'm thinking of is, is down in this area, we put 
a truck loading, right? Where it'll feed into this. There we go. Well, I think we'll let's let the building level it a bit, and then we'll. I think I'll lower that down so it's yeah, let's level right up to these so that it's not going to interfere. All right, and now let's use the lower tool just a little bit. Yeah, make that kind of nice and level in there, you know. We're more level with the road. Not, not perfect, but there you go. And then we should be able to put a conveyor in here. Right, so now we can get, once we get this hooked up, you know, we can get gravel from here to here, and then it can go into the trucks, and the trucks won't have to go all the way up here to get it out. Now, the next thing is, the two other components that we're really going to want. So we have four of these bricks, sto um, you know, bricks, steel, lumber. Maybe we'll put the lumber all the way up here, but you get the idea. And prefab panels, right? So we'll have those things down here. We'll have stone coming down here. And that covers the basics. Now, I'm going to put in down here a warehouse and a road cargo station so that we can bring down mechanical components and eventually I guess we'll make electrical components here we can drop some off here or just go get them but if nothing else we can bring some mechanical components components into here and sort of whatever else we need but there you go so the other two things that we're really going to need are concrete and asphalt because this is such a distance I'm thinking of not eliminating the possibility of doing this with trains, right? So let's see, as we come into, yeah, oh, can we do it there? Yeah, cement silo. Okay, so now we can do a cement silo, which would be nice, right? Now, can we get a train? This is the first time I've really, no, we can't get a train out of here. I don't know that we need to, but it certainly would be kind of nice, right? Now, cement, cement goes through a, through a warehouse, right? It's making me think, you know, where we can get a train into a warehouse, but does it, let's go back to the trains and take a look. So I thought through a lot of this, but I didn't want to do it all off camera. You know, it's, I want to, all right, so where's, we want the, yeah, where's, I'm pretty sure you would take cement through this, right? But it doesn't list that. Yeah, so it's nice that we have that thing, but then, you know, we don't actually have a train thing that would, <laughs> at least not obviously, let us... Yeah, am I missing cement looking at this? I mean, I could do the boards, I could do seemingly everything else but the cement. And this is fuel. All right, so how, are, I guess we'd have to drive it up here by truck, which is okay. Let's, let's go back. All right, so I'm going to come down to the concrete plant. And what that's telling me is if we did a concrete plant could I get it to where this would attach eh, I'm trying too hard aren't I see if we did this here I could probably put that cement storage here, we can always just plop it down right make sure that we can get a conveyor connected and yeah, let me bring it over this way more yeah because that's yeah that building like ends here and there's nothing I don't think there's anything coming out this way. Yeah, so we can get it even closer. Yeah, that's... Let's see. I'll go. don't want to go too, too close. All right, how about that? Now, let's just make sure we can get our conveyor going, because that's always a, a joy to build all this stuff and then figure out you can't get your conveyors connected. Same thing with these road... These, uh... 
look up factory connections. Okay, so now we have that and we're gonna try for a cement silo, right? So let's do, where's the road? Oh, there it is, I can't see it from the, oh, that's a pain. All right, I think that'll be okay, right? Can't really see, here, let's see, can I go 90 degrees and then see the, yeah, there we go. I don't wanna to go too close or else I won't get my road in. All right, let's see how that works out. All right, so we should be able to come in here and bring in stuff. Now, I'm sorry, I had a thought of failed electrical connections for some reason, because I think I always build these kind of things and then I forget to build an electrical connection. So that should be no problem there. And then let's make sure we can get a road out. And yeah, I, def I think I want an asphalt road. Yeah, that worked. Now this, for now, let me just run this long so that I can connect that kind of wherever I want. And then this can get connected like so. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that go for now as we talk about, or, no, I really want to delete this. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to get cement gravel well wait it doesn't really show us that there does it let's go back to here so when it comes to this we're gonna have cement and gravel and well power we need to check on but then we'll have a cement storage so that means we can put how much is it goes into the cement storage oh they didn't add it to this screen so we'll come back here cement silo 270 so you know more than we probably need down here but at least that gives us the possibility now the other thing to look at is i guess you could well i don't see any way you can connect the rail to it <laughs> so so without being able to connect the rail uh, you know I, I don't know i mean it's useful but it's less useful now, maybe we should do an experiment at some point, making sure that we could, you know, can you use that rail cargo thing to go through there? It doesn't say it on the list there, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. All right, so anyway, next. The last thing we're going to need down over here, or one of the last things to get construction really rip-roaring, is asphalt. So now we're going to want gravel to come into the asphalt, right? And unfortunately, this is all kind of backwards as far as that road is concerned. Like, like if we were to put this here, or even, well, yeah, we'd have to get, let's turn the angle to where we think we can get a conveyor. Can't build due to building. All right, so now we should be able to get a conveyor out of here. And it leaves us one more conveyor connection. I don't know I don't know that we'd ever do anything more with the gravel, right? Hopefully I'm not forgetting about something obvious and you guys aren't screaming, Ooh, you dummy. I hope you wouldn't call me names, but you get the idea. All right, so now let's go back to roads. And can I just do, yeah. yeah. Oops. Give it a little bit of extra line up, right? Then we'll come from here to here. All right, so we should have plenty of room to get that road out. So I'm not too worried about that now. Let's go to phase next. Phase next is going to be uh, getting a train down here to get bitumen and or getting a truck down here to get bitumen. So what I would think is this will be, you know, bitumen. But what we should do is come over here to pipes and put a tank 
Oh, can I spin this around so the road makes more sense? Let's level that out a little bit more. If we put it this way, then the arrows are facing the wrong direction. I think we could put it this way. I don't want to get it too close because our road coming out from behind there, I'd like to squeeze underneath. Now, here's the thing. Can we connect this thing? Yeah, this would make sense. Here, let me show you. Yeah, th this will be fine. I hope. And we might need to level more out this way, but this would at least get us our bitumen. And I'll, I'll tell you what I'm thinking of. So what I would like to do, yeah, let's put the road out first. So I'm going to do like this number to try to keep it close. And then we'll try to go. Uh, uh, let's just get rid of a little bit of this road if we can. Yeah. See if we can make this turn like right. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was picturing. And we're going to have to turn this way. Let's. let's Yeah. Okay. And this can come out like that. Now let's go back to the pipelines. And so I think it looks better when you do E twice. There we go. So that should have our bitumen tank going with bitumen. Now, Ken, here's a question. Fuel loading and offloading, right? This doesn't, so does this get limited? Like, can we do loading and offloading of two different things, or does it always have to be, like, you know, it's saying, hey, let's go hover over there. It's saying, like, oil tank. So maybe you can only do one. But what I'd like to do is potentially have it where we could go in and out, right? So let's level back here a little bit more. Which is good, because if we ever brought rail in here, I kind of want it further away from that road than closer. Especially because, well, you know, just it'll give more room. That's all. I don't think I need to explain why the rail needs more room. <laughs> if you guys have played the game much at all. Uh, so part of the pain in the butt about this is that it's like those two, the arrows, you know, let's zoom in while we're doing this. The arrows are both facing the right way. So if I... See, what I was wondering is, because I make this a... Oh, okay, well, there's our limit, by the way. All right, so see, in other words, if I make this... You know, spin it around so we get it. Yeah, that's kind of nice and square looking. And I think that's about going to make a straight pipe, right? Let's go this way. Yeah, I like that. So like in other words, if coming out of this tank, let's let's put our pipes in going in, right? That should be nice and easy. And then I have a road that I need to bring. Let's get the road done first so we can. Uh, yeah, this would be one that we might have trucks going in and out of a lot, right? Because we could also have our train coming down through here potentially. So let's just do that too, just so we know. So if we had trains, we would let's make them nice and straight. Oh, come on. There we go. And then now let's go back to pipes. And can I come out of here? Uh, some other. Okay. Well, this is why we lay things out, right? Not, not bulldozed. Yeah, cancel this road. Give that road another shot. There we go. Is that a little better? Yes. So we're going to do E twice. You know, I'm going to turn this guy immediately. And that looks pretty good. And we'll go across the road. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make this turn here. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, so can we then get stuff in and out of here with no problem? Was that even necessary? I think it would be because it wouldn't be able to take it back out of the tank through this, right? 
So this way we can have like a bitumen run. And then if we want another asphalt plant, which I can picture somewhere down here, we'll have, we'll have that ability. And we can worry about attaching railroads and all that stuff later. Yeah, but at least we can get the bitumen, bitumen tank. And yeah, now we might also might want to consider doing something along those lines for fuel. So at some point, you know, driving the truck up here is not that big a deal, but it might make sense to have like a fuel train coming to this region. But we'll say there's, we might really want that over here, right? We're coming through this way because the fuel is over there by oil trough. But we'll say that's probably quite a distance away when you consider all the construction we have here. So, all right, so that gives us darn near everything we need for the that we can do with the gravel so we can get our gravel in here if we get a railroad so let me since this episode's already starting to get a bit long not long but you know we're not quite done yet either are we and i'd like to get all this done in this one so we're going to do a warehouse and i want to make sure it's kind of convenient for the trucks yeah so i think we could push this back in a little bit further right just to get in case we do a rail situation which I don't know that we would but and I think that'll I don't think that's going to interfere with the train coming in and out of the aggregate unloading yeah let's spin that around till it looks I kind of wish it would just stay aligned to the grid you know sort of like i wish the garden hose in my life would just not get all twisted up i guess it's you know just something i may not ever get in my life all right so let's see if that's too close to there i don't think it will be and we want roads because i want a road cargo i'm learning my lesson with the parking spaces in this game Slowly but surely. Yeah, so we'll have like a road cargo station. Might as well keep it close in case we want to build. Yeah, it's, it doesn't need to be too close, but there we go. So now, I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to attach that yet. I won't attach anything we don't have to to this road so we can just get it all built in one shot. And then we'll come back and put the roads in. But I can at least set this guy up. Go from there to there. Good. So that'll get us, you know, a good road cargo so we don't jam up the one parking space in here if we want to, you know, eventually send electrical components and have the guy sitting there waiting to unload and, and whatever else might come in here. Because at, at first, this is going to be our only warehouse, right? So we might even want to, like, send food and stuff in here you know, as we get our town built, because that's a whole nother thing for another episode. Once we get this going, in order to really be able to use this well, we're going to, you know, after we start getting materials down here, we're going to really want to get some people in here so that we don't have to drive all the way back to get people each time, which really might be a pretty big issue. So we're going to see how that goes. Okay, now... Oops, I didn't really need to close that, but I do want to go over. Let's, you know, I want to commit to everything we've done so far. So let's just say, bada bing, bada boom, bang, and conveyors. Not that. Yes. And pipes. <laughs> there we go. All right, there we go. So I think all that's, you know, it's probably not, but again, if. Leave something in the comments if I'm really messing it up. All right, did we ever put electricity down here? I thought I ran a substation. Oh, there it is, yeah. And, oh, that, we've got a whole transformer coming in. Okay, great. So I'll run, once this gets built, we'll, we'll run this up here. But I do, the last thing I want to do, let's see. So if we, I don't want, too much crisscrossing but now we have an idea where this is so like i said i think we'd bring a road along here so i think i would connect this guy to this one and this one to that one i hope that made some sort of sense i'll show you what i mean 
So let's keep this in here like oh. yeah, we'll do that and we'll take this guy. There, let's give him a partner. Go on, get back. All right, now let's get this one extended. Is that connected? No, I don't think it is. <sighs> Did not want to do that. All right, cancel. Yeah, I think that's connected. All right, let's get this guy to go further. Yeah, that's, should be okay. Nope, it's not at all what I wanted to have happen. All right, I'm just gonna commit to that. And now let's go back to here again. Yeah, let's just make it um, no there's nothing going to be coming in and out of there that's going to I'm going to care about that leveling job I just did and yeah, let's move this back a little bit and can we get across here Not really loving that. Okay, so in our one-way system, we're going to have to come out here and back in here. And eventually, we would come yeah, out here and over to here. And then this one would come to there. So trains could come in and out every which way but loose. All right, let's commit to that. And then, yeah, if we're going to do this every other thing, see what I'm saying? Like if I, I don't necessarily need a T intersection here, but it'll be, it'll be like a cross, I think. So let's run these. And I want to sort of start cheating these over this way, right? So let's just do a little taking out the mole hills there uh, yeah it's, it's just I don't know if these are in the best place in the world but I don't think it matters too much let's just run that up there like that and this up here like this so the train that's coming in here doesn't need to go that way does it so just I just need to get a track that would look at least somewhat decent now will that how's that yeah I mean we could only ever have one train there but we could always build another track coming in and out that way if we really wanted to Though I don't see the need for too many gravel trains. At some point, we'll just build another gravel quarry over here rather than having 10 tons. So let's, I'm going to commit to that, sort of, so to speak. <clears throat> yeah, and then thinking about this, I mean, we're probably going to have, like, lumber coming up here. So let me get rid of, like, this whole thing. And I'm just going to do like that because <laughs> you know and then we're going to have oops right because again we're just going to have one train and another especially for lumber now having done that though i think i might have just messed up let's see can we get a road out of here oh yeah look at that actually looks like looks like nice sort of almost yeah, and see, so the roads will come through each through here. Yeah, and I won't I won't connect this up at this point just because 
like I said, I'd, I'd rather leave it. But then what I'll do is I'll connect each one of these up one way or the other. And let's go back over to the railroad tracks. And we need one more connection, I think, over here. And you'll see why I was, ah, uh, you know what, uh, that's, well. Yeah, I guess we could, yeah, let's come like straight across the road. Yeah, there's a certain sense this makes, even though it may not be. No, you don't want to go crossing not allowed, okay. Well, let's. Yeah, let's do like that, and then, there we go. Yeah, so let's take it like this. Yeah, that'll be ugly, but I think I can, let's delete this back a few sections here. Can I make it look a little, yeah, that's pretty reasonable and then this can probably yep right in there like that good so even though it's you know a little goofy it might keep a little less traffic on one of these and if we tried to do connecting these into here you could see where it would just start you know I mean you could do it but I think it would just start getting to be a lot of connections and you know now we can kind of signal out here you know we have less trains that would be coming in and out Maybe we could even coordinate what's busiest here, like steel and something could go here and here. So, okay, let's uh, commit to, well, let's do, ra oops. Yeah, the railways just always get built. And then let's do this. Like I said, we'll make that connection after, after we get the thing built. And some more rail. Let's see. So let's take this guy and just, yeah, if he wanted to turn his own natural little turn there, I would come out to there. But I want to come out like two more just to give this other guy plenty to. So that's going to put it like in this area. So let me. See about coming up this way. Let's get this one. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah, let's, there we go. But well, that didn't look like I would do that much to it, but there we go. We'll bring that just to the other side of here. And then this guy can come into here. And then we'll put another track like right here. And then I guess we should bring it straight a little bit further. And then can we get... Yeah, see, that's sort of a problem there, isn't it? Let's... See, it's it's not liking that. Where's the closest I can connect? You know, I could probably do maybe. Yeah, see, it doesn't doesn't quite like that. Let's come back here. Yeah, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get rid of all of that. Let's do the. Oops, more getting rid of. Okay, so now let's uh, yeah, let's get this guy to attach nicely, and then I think it won't be. We'll get that guy to go like that, and then yeah, there we go. And then this guy for now can just go like this, right? So we can. Eh, we could make that a little bit shorter. Right, it doesn't matter. There's not going to be that many trains out. If I, well, no, let's make it a little shorter. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. So it 
So now we can bring oops, this train. Hopefully I build all these with the right kind of track. There we go. So that way, I don't know, the signaling is ever so slightly easier. And then same thing here with, you know, we'll just make this a regular T intersection or at least the plan for it. So they would be coming back out of here, which means they would want to go this way. And they would be coming back in go that way. And then they're going to want to come out of here to go this way and here to go that way. I don't like that. Yeah, let's, let's delete that last little bit. I mean, that one doesn't look great with the hill there, but at least it looks... Yeah, it's, yeah I think I deleted the plan. Oh, is there a... I don't know. Hopefully there's nothing there. You know what, let's actually... Let's, can we get that to reattach? Sometimes you can't even. Yes. Okay. So now let's delete the rest of this. Yeah, do that number and then it should attach. Look a lot better. And then this guy, yeah, we're going to leave that alone, even though it's hardly noticeable that it's ugly. Here we go. So now we have plenty of track work to do, huh? So as we get, uh, you know what, now there, here's going to be another problem. We definitely want to put in a couple signals before here, like here and here. Because what happens is, is as they build, that became one track. So they would interfere with each other. Like you're going to get a red signal way down there. And then we probably should even just at this point isolate these as best we can so that they so that they don't fight with each other too much over I oh, don't know. That's not good. What did I go a little bit further here? Yeah. Yeah, I really want to put a semaphore there, don't I? Well, I can go over here. At least for now. I, th I don't think that's actually going to cause a big problem. Probably don't even want to semaphore that close anyway. Well, there we go, guys. I think we have a whole entire construction office planned. And a lot of work to do. Like I said, I'm not going to worry about hooking up the railroad tracks to Batumen just yet. But part of the reason for that is, you know, it's just, I, I don't know how, f I, this is kind of hitting the limit of where I can actually build and level. Like if I tried to come over here, it's going to yell at me about leveling. So we have kind of taken this to the extent, but there we go. We've got, let's turn off this wireframe. We have got ourselves, and we'll turn the game back on. We have got ourselves a whole little construction thing with the materials we'll need, and then I think in the next episode, you know, I pointed out Electrical City here and Revergrad's over here. We should talk about, you know, most of the housing for Revergrad is going to be on the outskirts of Revergrad, with Revergrad being, you know, maybe serviced by bus or tram. So I'm thinking of like a city in this general neighborhood where we have our electrical components being built over here, but, you know, also being able to support provide some manpower for all this construction so so i will come back when the next exciting thing happens <laughs> i don't know there's, there's just a lot of work to do even just getting this road down here is going to be kind of painfully slow i may have to start really specializing some construction and i might even fire up one of these more to start helping out so but we'll see uh yeah well I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Uh, we didn't get too much construction done, but at least we got a lot of planning done that we can that we can start working on. And uh, this is going to be absolutely necessary if we're going to build a whole bunch of other stuff. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the plan. It will be a while. I might even try to you know get your comments before I 
before I build too much of it. I definitely try to get the comments. Just know that I, you know, it's usually at least the day before that I've recorded the episode and then I start processing it and uploading it. That way, if I run out of time or something happens in the day, I still get the video up. So be aware that if it's, if you're commenting on something that's likely to happen tomorrow, <laughs> the video is already up today kind of thing. So sometimes I even have to, I get a few days ahead, uh, depending on real life and my time. Some of these videos take five, six hours to record, you know, just leveling and just building and constructing. So it's not like, it's not like I can always do them instantly if I have other things planned in life. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take care of yourselves and have a good day. Bye-bye.